Chinese researchers have taken a bold step towards making life on the moon a reality with their groundbreaking lunar bricks. These ultra-strong bricks, made from simulated lunar soil, are designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the moon. Temperatures that swing from 180 degrees Celsius during the day to a chilling minus 190 at night. But why does this matter? By using these locally sourced materials, China could drastically reduce the cost of building a lunar base, turning the moon into a long-term outpost for research and exploration. This video dives into how these bricks are made, why they're crucial for the future of space habitation, and what this means for our journey beyond Earth. Stay tuned to explore the possibilities. Chinese researchers have taken a major step towards building a future lunar base by developing lunar bricks from materials that closely resemble lunar soil. The breakthrough comes from a team at Huazong University of Science and Technology HUST, led by Ding Liang. These bricks, crafted using lunar soil simulants, are over three times stronger than traditional red bricks or concrete perfect for the moon's challenging environment. To create these bricks, the team used a technique called sintering, where materials are heated just below their melting point to fuse them together. This process is ideal for lunar conditions where conventional construction methods are not feasible. The researchers experimented with five different compositions of lunar soil simulants and used three different sintering processes. By doing so, they developed a material that can adapt to the diverse soil conditions found on the moon. The team also developed an innovative 3D printing robot capable of using lunar soil to construct entire buildings directly on the moon's surface. This approach could make it possible to build habitats using local resources, significantly reducing the need for transporting heavy construction materials from Earth. This would be a game changer for lunar missions, cutting down costs and making long-term moon habitation more practical. This development offers valuable data for refining construction techniques and choosing the best materials for a sustainable lunar base. With their different soil simulants ranging from basalt-like compositions similar to the Chang'e 5 landing site to a north site mixtures, the team ensures that these bricks can be used effectively across various lunar terrains. Their work represents a foundational advancement, providing practical solutions for turning the dream of a lunar settlement into a reality. The moon's environment is unforgiving, with challenges far beyond what we face on Earth. Temperatures on the lunar surface range from scorching 180 degrees Celsius during the day to a bone-chilling minus 190 degrees Celsius at night. Any construction material must be able to endure these extreme conditions, and that's why the testing of the newly developed lunar bricks is so vital. The research team from HUST is putting their lunar bricks through a rigorous series of tests aboard China's space station using the Tianzhou 8 cargo spacecraft. This testing phase focuses on assessing the brick's mechanical strength, thermal stability, and ability to resist cosmic radiation. Unlike Earth, the moon has no atmosphere to shield structures from radiation, making it a major concern for long-term habitation. Another challenge is the frequent occurrence of lunar quakes, triggered by gravitational interactions with Earth. These tremors mean that any structure on the moon must be able to maintain its integrity under stress. To ensure the bricks can meet this challenge, they are being tested for their ability to withstand the high-frequency vibrations that characterize these quakes. Zhou Cheng, a key researcher on the team, emphasizes the importance of this testing to ensure the bricks don't degrade under these extreme conditions. The moon's vacuum environment presents additional challenges as it causes materials to behave differently than they would on Earth. The absence of air pressure could affect the durability and bonding of the bricks over time, so testing aims to understand how these factors play out. Additionally, researchers are evaluating the bricks' insulation properties, as proper insulation is essential to maintain stable temperatures inside any lunar habitat. If these tests are successful, the lunar bricks could provide a reliable building material for future settlements. The researchers aim to prove that these bricks can effectively insulate structures, protect against cosmic radiation, and remain stable in the moon's vacuum environment. This would mark a critical step towards constructing a lunar base that could support sustained human presence on the moon, making exploration safer and more sustainable.
China's development of lunar bricks is part of a larger strategy that stretches far into the future. The country has outlined a national mid-term to long-term space program, aiming to make significant advancements in space science through 2050. A key part of this roadmap is the construction of an international lunar research station, with work set to begin between 2028 and 2035. The creation of lunar bricks is directly aligned with this vision, offering a practical solution to the challenge of building structures on the moon. Transporting materials from Earth to the moon is extremely expensive. Every kilogram sent into space requires significant resources and fuel. By using materials that already exist on the lunar surface, such as regolith, China aims to reduce these logistical hurdles, making the dream of a sustainable lunar base more feasible. The lunar bricks could help cut down transportation costs, enabling the construction of habitats and research facilities directly on the moon. China's vision extends beyond national goals, aiming to involve international partners in this ambitious lunar endeavor. The proposed Lunar Research Station is designed to be a hub for scientific research and exploration, potentially serving as a platform for future missions to Mars and beyond. This focus on collaboration aligns with China's aim to establish itself as a leader in space exploration, inviting other nations to contribute to this new frontier. The development of lunar bricks represents a pivotal step towards realizing this vision. These bricks offer a practical and innovative solution to the challenges of lunar construction, enabling the creation of a sustainable and resilient infrastructure on the moon. As China moves forward with its space plans, these advancements are setting the stage for a new era of human presence beyond Earth. Moreover, the Lunar Research Station has the potential to serve as a training ground for deeper space exploration, like long-duration missions to Mars. Building a base on the moon would allow scientists to study the effects of prolonged exposure to low gravity and harsh space environments, providing critical insights for future interplanetary missions. This makes the lunar bricks a strategic investment, not just for lunar exploration, but for humanity's broader spacefaring ambitions. By mastering these techniques, China is positioning itself as a key player in the new space age, turning the moon into a launch pad for greater exploration of our solar system. In this video, we have learned about China's groundbreaking development of lunar bricks and their potential role in building a sustainable lunar base. We explored how these bricks are made, the testing they undergo to withstand the moon's harsh conditions, and how they align with China's long-term vision for space exploration. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.